What's going on guys? This is Symbiote Reviews and today we're taking a look at Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Optimus Prime. Now here as you can see we have him in his truck mode and this guy looks fantastic. So if we take a look at the detail on this guy, as you can see on the front grill here there are two translucent plastic headlights there. That is a red Autobot logo but there's not really much detail. It's just the shape of an Autobot logo. There's some imprint on it but not enough that the camera will pick up on it. As you can see, this guy has flames everywhere on him. He's got some on the wheel wells, on the hood, and then some on the side of the hood. The first movie version didn't have that. We have flames on the door here, and this little back panel. And then we have a little bit more flame detailing down here. He has a black Autobot logo right there above. So, of course, basic prime color scheme, red and blue, instead of beeping truck sounds, if you turn it around, there is a button in the left bottom corner right here. There's two little tabs, but this one's a button. And what happens when you flip them, he lights up red and makes a truck noise. Now let's see that with the lights off. And he has plastic tires this time, not rubber ones. But for what you're getting with this figure, that is okay. So let's transform this guy and take a look at his robot So mode. to start Prime's transformation from truck to robot mode, what you're going to want to do is just untab these two side pieces right here and just fold them back like that. Next, you can go to the front here and pull the hood off and untab these two wheels and then go to the sides here and take these little gas can pieces and pull those off as well. And then that will basically loosen everything up. So next, disconnect these pieces right here, the hood pieces and you're going to slide out the front windshield like so and then unfold his arms now we're going to make the legs so to do that we're going to go to the back here and there's just like a little hinge here and there's a little post right there and it's going to tab into a hole and when you do it will sound like you get the transformation noise and those red lights from before light up then you're going to want to go back here and just get these little red panel pieces out of the way. Now back to the legs, you're going to split them up here. And it looks a bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's really quite easy. You're going to unfold these two pieces here on both sides. Fold in the little grill and then rotate it and snap it into place. Now there are little tabs on these pieces here and there's a little hole you're just gonna plug in those pieces right there and there you have Prime's lower body transformed alright you guys still with me now for the arm pieces so you're gonna take the arm piece and move it over so then you'll be able to lift up this piece here and tab it into place it's a bit tricky but when you actually do it it's not that hard and then you're gonna wanna rotate the arms down Make sure this little red piece is facing towards you. For these pieces, you're going to take off this little gas can panel. You're going to take this and fold it and just fold it in, covering up the little blade back here. And then you can rotate the hand forward. Take the gas can piece and move it up. Now, you're just going to want to repeat that with the other arm. Do that. Fold it around. Pull off the gas can piece. Fold it in and rotate around and move up the gas can. Then for the arms, the last and final touch is just tucking them in. You just It's on a hinge so you can just fold it in as you can see, just giving it that final look. Now for the back pieces here, what you're going to want to do is untab these little pipe pieces from these little pipe pieces from their tabs underneath. Then you're going to want to disconnect these little panels just by pushing on the bottom and then unfolding them there. Do that on both sides and rotate them around about 180 degrees. And then you can fold them in and snap them into place. Now for these little red pieces, they're on a hinge so you can just fold those in. And then there are little tabs on these blue pieces up here which they can plug into. And then there are tabs on these pieces as well so you can plug these little exhaust pipe pieces into there. So you just get those tabbed into place right there and 
plug in the red pieces, and there you got Prime's back transformed. Now for the final part of the transformation, what you're going to want to do is fold these back. There are little posts right there, as you can see, and a hole on here. What you're going to do is just fold it back and put that hole on that tab and do that on both sides. Now what you're going to want to do is raise Prime's head up and put it into place. Then, as you can see, there's little slots on the side here, and there's little posts on here. So what you're going to want to do is get them in the bigger spot of these little slots and plug them in. So you just tab it in there, and as you can see, it's still loose. And then, also, this little piece will flick forward, giving it a little bit more detailing. So now on the other side, you're just going to want to tab that in there, and it's in. Once that's in there, you flick up these little pieces on the shoulders. And once you're all done with all that, you get... And there you have Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Optimus Prime in Robot Mode. So here we have Prime in his robot mode. And as you can see, he is very tall. So if you compare him next to Masterpiece Prime, you can see that the Masterpiece Prime is taller than the movie Optimus Prime. So for Prime's articulation, his arms can rotate 360 degrees. They are in a ratchet joint. They can go out and in. They can bend at the elbow. His hands can rotate 360 degrees, but there is no finger articulation. His head can rotate 360 degrees, but it's a little bit hindered by these chest plate pieces here. But he can also look up, like so. So his head can go 360. His legs can go front, back, not that much, but they can. And if you lift those up, they can go in and out, they can bend at the knee, and the feet are on a very big ball joint. If I show that off, that ball joint is huge, and they can go up and down and rotate 360 degrees. Now, if we look at some of Prime's features, as you can see, he has a little gray tab right there on his inner arm, and if you push the button you get some nice pop-out blade action. And he has it on both sides. So if you want to, you can have him with his dual blades. And he's ready for battle. So you can get some very nice poses out of this guy. And one last thing about the articulation. You do have posable chest pieces here. And that adds a very nice effect to the Prime figure. But that's it for my review on Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Optimus Prime. I encourage you to subscribe for more Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen toy reviews, stop motions, and I suggest you check out my channel for more toy reviews. And I will be making a future video on the robot to truck transformation. You can be sure to look in the description box or I will leave an annotation here on the screen when I have it up. So that could help you there. But until next time guys. Thanks for watching, have an excellent rest of the day, and most importantly, take care. I hope I'll be seeing you all next time.